For this next technique, I'm going to show you how to perform a manipulation for the AA joint. The AA joint is basically C1, which is known as the atlas, and it will articulate on C2, which is known as the axis. So it basically will sit like this, and then 50% of the motion is allowed from C1 rotating on C2. So the idea of the treatment would be that we would initiate flexion of the cervical spine, because that would basically lock the nuchal ligament from C2 downwards and allow some motion of the C1 on the C2. I'm going to come down to the first cervical vertebra. So I'm going to find the occipital and come down to that level. And I'm going to use my MCP joint coming down. So I'm going to slowly glide down to that area. Now when I do this one, it, within flexion, but I will put in just a little bit of a side bend in and then I'm just going to slowly just initiate a rotation movement. She does have a little block here, okay? I've done the assessment earlier. So this is where the bind would be. Then what I'm going to do is, using my MCP joint, is to go through a rotation towards the opposite eye. The left hand as well is also going to encourage some of the movement. So it's not just done from my right hand, it's a combination of both levers, left hand and right hand at the same time. And then the thrust, the execution will be towards the opposite eye due to the facet joint orientation. Okay, so I'm just going to just find the bind here. There's the bind. Okay, and I'm just gently going to just change this positioning. From here I'm going to, wait, there we go. Okay. Okay, so that was an adjustment or a manipulation for the AA joint.